My name is Jesse Sigelmar. I'm an undergraduate student and I'm from Canada. I really prayed and I just asked God like, okay, I don't know what my next step is after high school. I'm going to apply to college and whichever one I get accepted in first, God is the door that you want to open and I got accepted. My main goal was just getting to know Jesus more and learning his word and being community and creativity. And yeah, just falling in love with Jesus. When I was a first year student, I was terrified to pray in front of people. I was like, God, you're never gonna let me pray in front of these students. Like, I'm not gonna do that only one on one. And I made a rule with him. And so I went my whole almost three year journey without praying in front of anyone. But the first day I got back, I went to orientation in um, third first. And Lee Burns said, Jesse, come up and pray for the new students. And I was so terrified, but I did it. And I conquered another one of my fears about praying out loud. So, and I do it all the time. It just feels like a conversation and it's my true relationship with God is just to pray out loud. The college community gave me an opportunity to try the things that I was afraid of. And since I'm such a creative person, I just love having opportunity to try. Like even this year, I've never done photography, I start doing that for fun. And I absolutely love it. I think the way that people believe in you is something beautiful about college. A scripture that always has been close to my heart is Jeremiah 29, 11. It's actually a scripture that my Nana gave to me before she passed away. It's just so deep to my heart because I'm such a planner and I struggle to trust sometimes. So this journey of college has really taught me how to trust and really rely on God and believe that He has a plan for me and not plan every single thing and just learn to step out in faith. Even when you can't see how it makes sense, but God knows. I connect with um, building sustainable social impact. I'm just really passionate about helping the community around the church, and I'm a youth leader, so I love doing it. I love helping people grow in their callings and who they believe that they can be, and just being that safe space for especially female, young female girls and believing in them more than they believe in themselves. Community is so important. So just seeing that and seeing the impact it has on the people that I've been leading, how if they have someone even just to listen to, you don't have to be like a counselor or a therapist, you just have to listen and be there for them and love them. Over the last 12 months, I learned how to dream again. Doors opened, a lot of doors opened, but a lot of doors closed, and it was a beautiful journey with God this year. Praying for my next season, so getting revelation and clarity for what's next in my season. And yeah, it's gonna be really cool. I am most grateful for God, most specifically like my family. Um, they're really supportive and they always believe in me, even when I didn't believe in myself. And I really value them and how they push me to be the best person I can be. Your calling is kind of like a circle. And if you're in that circle, no matter where you are in that circle, you're in your calling. So I think it's just a good reminder that you just have to be willing to live in that circle. It's not like black or white where you're right or wrong. And just to live in that circle and believe that God is going to help you fulfill your calling. If you're scared to do something, it's probably right. <laughs> because you're not going to grow if you stay in your comfort zone. You have to go into it knowing that there's opportunity for you to be hurt and there will be hard things that come about, but that doesn't mean you're not in your calling and where you're supposed to be. Take that leap of faith and jump full force into that fear because you know you have Jesus and you can get through anything if you have Jesus.